I have with me Dr. Natalie Looney and also Mr. Michael Doyne, and I'm gonna have them introduce themselves and talk about what schools they're with and their roles and how long they've been there. Welcome, guys. Um, I'm Natalie Looney, proud principal of Summer Hour Middle School. Uh, I've been at Summer Hour for 19 years. Um, when I t talk to folks, I really tell them it's my life's work because um, I've spent a large portion of my life there. Uh, we're in the city of Norcross and um, we serve a wonderful community. And I'm Mike Doyne. I work in the Parent Center. My title is Parent Instructional Coordinator at Lilburn Middle School. This is my 16th year there. I was a language arts teacher for a few years before the, I moved into the Parent Center. Okay, great. Um, I want to ask you guys, just in case people are not familiar with the schools, can you give us a little bit of a breakdown demographically of what your schools look like? Okay, so I, excuse my paper, I, ha I have some demographics, but I, but I thought of this clever line, which is true. Um, the most important demographic is 100% of our families want the best for our kids, and, and that's why we're here, mm -hmm. is, to, is to enable them. Um, and then the rest, they're numbers, um, but uh, since, since I think it's important and relevant, um, about 90% 90, 90 or so receive free or reduced price lunch. And I think between the two of our schools, um, as best I can tell, we have the schools with the largest Hispanic populations in the state of Georgia. Uh, maybe not percentage, uh, I believe Sequoia Middle School in DeKalb has a, has a larger percentage, but since our schools are larger, I think we have more Hispanic students. Don't, don't well, I, I guess I'm being recorded, so. Um, <laughs> but, so that there may be one or two out there, outliers that I'm not familiar with, but uh, I think, I think that, that drives a lot of what, what I do on a daily basis, working with our families, and I see Rosanna over there. She, she has my position at Summer Hour, and uh, she and I have collaborated a lot over the years. I think we may have about four or 500 less students than you do, uh, but about yeah, 70, 72% um, Latino, and 20% African American, 10% from a variety of other cultures. Uh, also between 85 and 90% free and reduced lunch. Um, also, you know, we, we also, when we look at demographics, we also look at the number of students that have IEPs that we're serving in special education, students who are multi-language learners or in the ESOL program, and of course our gifted population. So we look at all of those as well. And I don't think I mentioned this, but this is my fourth year as principal, but I have been at Summer Hour for 19 years, so I served as a teacher, uh, local school technology coordinator, and assistant principal. Okay, that's something new for me. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, that's wonderful. Uh, I, what I want to get more into, because I visit, of course, both of your schools. You guys have fantastic teams. Tell me some of the things that you're excited about that's happening at your schools right now. Um, oh gosh, so many things. <laughs> um, I mean, so for a lot of people may not know this, but we are a uniform school at Summer Hour Middle School. So we are the only uniform school in Gwinnett County Public Schools. And uh, that started with our former principal and we've continued on. And to be honest, I, am, I love it. Um, the kids love it. I mean, well, they don't love it, love it, but the parents <laughs> love it. Um, it makes it easy for kids every morning when they, and what I'm excited about as, a, as an IB school, we really focus on being internationally minded, um, being bilingual or multilingual. So we are really excited about that. But, but part of the uniform piece is uh, the community that it creates. We're all on one accord, we're all on the same team. Um, it just sets up kids every day for just learning and that they know that when they come to school, there's no talk about, you know, what this person's wearing versus that person and that sort of thing. Um, so that is one thing that I'm really excited about. I'm also really excited about uh, just the work. Um, so like we said, our parent coordinator, Rosanna Carlson, who's been at Summer Hour for 18 years, so we've been together. Um, actually, I taught her child <laughs> who came to Summer Hour, and we have uh, the intern at GCO who also went to Summer Hour, Tatiana. Um, so it's inspiring to see that, where kids are learning and then they're 
growing up and going to college and contributing back to their community. Actually, your child is a teacher. Uh, so I think that just seeing uh, what work is happening in our parent center, uh, working with parents, working with families. We're really, in Gwinnett County, there is a, a term we've been using a lot, and that's called supportive community. And so we have academic press, which is the work that we do every day in classrooms and working with, with teaching and learning. But there's another piece of that, which is the supportive community piece. And as a principal, it has been very, very refreshing for me in our school to focus on the supportive community component. So what are all of the pieces that go into making a student successful? And so that's really what I'm very excited about because my wheelhouse is teaching and learning. We focus on the AKS and instruction and I am a firm believer that education is that key role that changes your life. Um, and I love the su success sequence. and. You know, um, I will say that I'm very proud that I went through the success sequence myself and that has helped me, just my life, be stable and see how, and I'm able to sort of um, speak to and talk with families on that same sequence and how beneficial that is. So, um, you know, I just, just seeing that and that piece of education and the supportive community component together is really making a big difference with kiddos. Awesome, awesome. What about you, Mr. Doyne? I, I sort of wish you asked me first, but, uh, but I'm going to do my <laughs> best. <laughs> um, so my, my, my scope is, is smaller, although it, it is the whole family um, because of the role that I have. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not in the principal's chair, and I, I, I don't know how the principals do it. I really don't. They have so much uh, that they're responsible for, and um, I, I admire what they do and, and that they've stepped up. They're, they're serving. Um, they're serving the communities. It's, it's a selfless service. Um, and I, I'm fortunate to work with a great principal and I've, had four, I've worked with four great principals and just really admire uh, that they're willing to take it up. Um, so it starts, I think this starts with the principal. I'm really excited. Um, our principal has a counseling background and, and it shows every day. I think just empathy, we talk about empathy and, and um, and all the, all, the, all the counseling needs and social work needs uh, that our families have, and um, that, that's something that's exciting for us. I, w one word I hear about our administration, not only our principal, but our assistant principals, is the empathy that we have. We, we just need to have empathy for our kids, and, and, and they don't, you know, it, it's been said a million times, they don't care what you, what you know until they know that you care, and I think our, our kids know that our, and I'm sure it's true for Dr. Looney, our kids know that our principal cares. So. Um, so that's, I, I would start with that. It starts with the principal. And then um, we, we have a great, um, our, our community is an amazing community that uh, we had our first skate night of the year a couple nights ago and we had, we had our record, record skate night. We had over 300 people there and our PTSA, we're, we're a Title I school like, like Dr. Looney's, uh, like Summer Hour and um, parent-teacher organization, parent-teacher parent organizations are very powerful or have the potential for being very powerful. And uh, I was fortunate that we, ours was named the best um, PTA in, in southern, southern Gwinnett, which includes Parkview and Shiloh and South Gwinnett and Brookwood. So that, that was something we, we were really excited about and we look forward to capitalizing on that. And, and there's some other things that, I, that I'm excited about our school, of course, but, but I, I see the time and I wanna uh, pass it back to you, Grace. Thank you so much. You know, we got a chance to talk about what, what you guys are so thankful for at your schools. I wanna kinda shift a little bit and talk about what are you spending your most time on? Um, do you have instances where some of your families are challenged? Like, what are they going through? Uh, if you can answer those questions, and why don't we start with you, Mr. Doyne? So challenges. Yes. Um, yeah, so um, we work in the Parent Center and uh, Every day we're, we're, we're getting a new family from, from another country. Uh, so I think, I think that's, that's the biggest challenge for, for us is to try to provide that background uh, knowledge that um, many of us in this room may have, have received as, as we entered school. So there's, there's, there's a lot that we need to fill in. Um, so th so that, that says, I think that says a lot. The language barrier is, 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 is something that we need to 
overcome. But I was speaking with uh, Luis, I was speaking with Luis earlier, and he said, uh, uh, I think the key word for all of this is mindset. Um, Luis from Corners Outreach um, is, um, I think, and, and I said this, it's tried as well as to Melissa, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. We, we can do all this. It, it's, it's possible. We can help 100% uh, of our students achieve their dreams. I, I'm sorry for being an idealist, but that, that's, that's how I feel. Um, so just, I think the challenges with just not the background knowledge, language barrier, and the mindset, I think once, once as we solve that, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be meeting all the goals that we all have. Okay. Um, and just to piggyback on that, honestly, that I have that same idealism. I left that, I, I had that idealism when I left the college door and <laughs> entered the world, and I have not, it has, every day that goes by has not gone away one iota, it's probably increased more. Uh, for f very similar, you know, we have students coming from uh, different countries uh, and, you know, coming new to the country or the area. Uh, a big piece, too, is um, homelessness and students that are paired up with another family or live in extended stay. And I'm not sure if the statistic is still the same, but I heard a few years ago that in our area, we have per capita one of the largest numbers of extended stays mm -hmm. um, in the state of Georgia or maybe even in the southeast. So just a large number of students there. And when you're in an extended stay, you are considered homeless. So I would definitely say housing is a big component. I wouldn't say I spend all of my time on that, mm -hmm. but um, there is a, you know, there is an element that we're kind of working with families. And, you know, kids come into school every day and you know, they're maybe excelling in the class and getting straight A's and that sort of thing. And then you sit down and you talk to them for a while and you realize that they're in an extended stay with four, four family members mm -hmm. in, in one room. Um, and it's shocking. And then, but so, and that's what we call resiliency. And there are some kids that um, that resiliency may not be there and some of those uh, traumatic experiences or issues start to bubble up and, and they end up, you know, being displayed out in the classroom or the school. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, I guess, a big component. Uh, but a large portion of the time, it, for me as a principal, was really ensuring that in every single classroom, I have high levels of instruction every single day that's engaging, um, that's inspiring, and that our teachers are taking the time to build relationships with kids. Uh, you know, just from my, and I probably could talk forever, I'm probably past the time, um, but just for me personally, and the why I do what I do is school for me was a refuge. I came to school, and the people at school and the teachers at school made a big difference in my life, and so that's the kind of place that we make for our school. Okay. That's great. I, I know you guys are recognizing the time. We're okay. Um, I, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the family dynamics that go on. Uh, our audience doesn't know, but we are partners. Um, we offer relationship education in, in your classrooms, and it's new for Dr. Looney. Our, her first class uh, will be in September. Um, but we have been utilizing uh, a relationship education program in Lilburn School. When we start again, it'll be your fifth, the fifth class that we have. Why, why did you, s why are you partnering with GCL? Why is what we have important to your families? I was speaking with uh, board, men board member Nudson about it a little while ago. The, the parents don't come with you know, parent, there's no parenting guide. Uh, there, there are, and, and I'm sure, um, I'm sure uh, Mr. Mr. Rowe's uh, book will help as well. Um, but by the time um, they get to middle school, a lot of families are frustrated. I don't have kids myself, so um, I guess it's a little bit ironic I work in the parent center, but so be it. Um, they haven't gotten rid of me yet. So, um, but the... Um, that's, that's the beauty of, of the Strengthening Families program, uh, is that they, they provide, the, it's a seven week, uh, seven week program, and the parents get, get the information and the practice and the, and the role playing um, and the conversations that they need to have, the vocabulary that they need to have, 
because I say, as we all know, they all want the best for their kids. They just don't necessarily have the tools to get there. So it, it provides the tools that, that I'm not equipped as a parent coordinator um, and that typically I don't, I don't think many schools have somebody that is a parent counselor. We do have amazing counselors. We have school social workers. Uh, but we don't have a parent, I don't have a parenting class at our school. Um, so that's, that's, it's a huge component. It's, it's a huge piece that, that will fill in that, that need that, that, that we have to help, help our parents uh, help their kids. That's awesome. So Dr. Looney, with you starting to work with us, what, what pulled you over besides um, me calling you every day? <laughs> we love you, Joyce. Um, I think for, so, Number one, a big component of Gwinnett County Public Schools is the community school focus. And a, a program like this being housed in the school is beneficial because it is the kids and the families at the school that would benefit from this. So if there was you know, an organization doing something like this, um, how would our parents hear about it? How would they engage with it? Uh, and so the fact that it's happening on school grounds at the school facility is extremely beneficial. Uh, the other component of what you, you stated is, you know, for anybody who's engaged in this kind of work, the work of family, the work of relationships, the work of and strengthening communication, building yourself, building your family, it's powerful, powerful work. And there are many folks that may have not ever had an opportunity to engage in that type of thing. Like for example, the woman on the video. Mm -hmm. um, now she had that experience where she engaged with that and she learned something and she's now strengthened. So, it, I mean, that is, I mean, that's the reason. It's bringing that to a place where it's local for people they can get to. Um, and it gives them an opportunity to engage with something that's going to help them. That is great. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Can we give them a hand? You did a great job. And just to reiterate, there are um, uh, other workshops and everything that we provide, you'll hear a little bit about more about that later. Uh, but what will Excuse me. We do want you to know that there are opportunities to be able to partner with us to promote uh, the information and to participate if you want to. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.